Martin's Test Shaves, Sunday, 7th of July. And I'm going to do a special shave. I say special because look what I got from my friend Mark. Mark sent me this original Old Spice container with lid and with its original card box from the 1960s. He also included a couple of little slurry stones that I needed. So thank you, Mark. You're very, very kind. I will send you this later. Anyway, first things first, why is this a special shave? I'll show you why. This is my last soap to trial from my friend in Louisiana. This is Eric's Cajun Blades, wonderful soap. And this one is a special. This is the Deer Tallow on a sandalwood base. It's by far softer than the other two, which I've tried. This one has more shea and cocoa butter in it, apparently. So what lovely colors. I take a nice big scoop out. I've put that in the old spice pot. It's all ready now to lather up. And wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Look what came through from America. Here is a very, very, very slightly tatty box, but a very nice, well, I say very nice, I haven't tried it yet. This is the J.A. Henkel's Twin Works, Solingen, Germany, the 401 6th 8th. And this one looks closer to being a 6th 8th. I don't think it's had very much use. It is a carbon steel, thank God. And you can see the 401 Henkel stamp on it. Standard black uh, scale, slightly warped. This one I took through a full synthetic progression, as usual. I bought this one again to 20k. I've given it a very nice dropping just now. And I must say, it actually, it's hanging hair test is pretty good. So let's see if a Henkel's 401 carbon is any use at all. Because so far I'm not impressed with J.A. Henkel's, but it could be my bad luck. Let's see, let's lather up. I'm gonna use a different brush today. This brush is very heavy. It's a synthetic heavy, very heavy, aluminium based brush uh, from a very good friend, Gary, Gary Haywood, who is my old sensei. There's nothing Gary doesn't know about razors. There's nothing he doesn't know about all aspects, but anyway, that's another story. So, first thing is, I have to say, out of the three soaps that Eric very kindly sent to me, this one by far is the easier to work. It's softer. And uh, I must say, a nice gentle aroma. As you guys know, I know very little about aromas and soaps. If you want to know what I was doing all morning, uh, the time now, UK time, is now quarter to three, because I've been working in my workshop on a recalcitrant Scottish basket hilt broadsword, which has been an absolute bugger. However, I've done as much as I can work-wise. It is a Sunday. I should be skating, but it's blowing like the seven hobs of hell out there at the moment. And it was raining earlier, so Luca and myself and my gang couldn't go skating very well. Anyway, how about that? Now, I think this is quite a water-hungry um, lava, so I'm going to put a little bit of Dapper Shaves trick. I'm going to do a little bit of water into the top of the brush. Get that going. And we'll do a quick shave and see how this... J.A. Henkel's 401 Carbon 6 8 blade does on a 20k Gukomyu Suhiru edge. It's not bad for my, for my age, all that memory. What a trick. Right, wipe the fingers. As I say, the blade has been fully stropped. It is HHT, quite satisfactory. Not the best I've ever had but pretty, pretty good, both ends of the hair. It has had its bevel set, 
correctly because I do all the little tests, especially the, uh, the tomato. Um, and here we go. Wow, that's brilliant. Oh my God, I've at last found a Henkels that works. This is a keeper. Well, I'll be. I haven't had much joy with this stainless. My, I don't know what you want to call it, litmus test for, for all razors are. I don't care what they're made of. I don't care what their constituent materials are. If when you apply a proven method, particularly on the synthetic stones, and they still won't shave, as far as I'm concerned, they're rubbish. I mean, I have bevel set by now hundreds of razors and uh, I'm no longer overly concerned about whether or not the bevel set is correct. This is good. So that's one pass on that side. Let's do one pass on this side before we do anything exotic. This side, the left side of my face is slightly more tender always and I don't know why. Who knows? Perhaps it's the way I sleep. But that is not bad at all. This gives a definite pass. I won't lie, I've probably had better, but for a freshly honed, freshly stropped razor, which has probably had a very doubtful life back in America. It only had one slight small nick and that I think took out. The same method as uh, Sean used. The bread knife method which is <laughs> and it works and then of course you very carefully bring the edge back. I tend to bring the edge back on a um, about a 45 degree bevel on the fine diamond plate before going to a 1k. And obviously the 1k is your bevel setter. Then I refine the 1k usually, in fact 99% of the time, on a 3k stone which is my 3000 grit Nano are professional. Yep. That's a one pass, perfectly good shave. I'll stretch it out a bit, but quite honestly, I'd be happy to go anywhere with this one pass shave. And for those just starting the adventure of straight razor shaving, this is what you get up to. You get up to being quite good at judging. And there's thousands of different razors out there. Lots of different grinds, lots of different steels. And the joy is you can get slowly better and better at evaluating and using them. Otherwise, you end up using double-edged razors, which are, well, better than nothing, I suppose. But to me, the joy, because I'm a metal worker, ah, is getting to be one with the steel. We need only a few stones, a little bit of leather and canvas for a strop. And uh, before you know it, uh, you're into a whole new skill set. And this is about skills. This isn't about shaving. This is about hand to eye coordination and the joy of pushing the limits of what you can push. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Well, 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 so there's a turn up for the books. Apparently, the Henkels company do know how to make razors. This is the only good one I've found so far out of five.
even its sound is distinctive. It has a, a, a crisper sound than you would expect, um, which is, excuse me, I dry my fingers. I just got a little bit of lava on the tang. And that's the shortest possible way to cut yourself. But no, I would say Joy Bells. This is not bad at all. Yep, yeah, didn't bother to wipe the excess off, did I? Messy sir, person I am. Very messy person. To being an engineer. Never trust engineers. All they're interested in is their steel, their machinery. Oh, in my case, pretty women. Luckily, I have the most beautiful one waiting for me in Morocco. And she's a treasure. This is good. No, this is this is good. While I'm doing these tests, I haven't resorted to do any music in the background. I'm always a little bit worried about why I get these uh, claims of copyright. What does it mean? I have no idea. I'm just trying to show the world at large a wonderful world of developing skills, developing skills with straight razors. Absolutely rewarding. This is a very, very good shave. And I'm not ashamed to say I've used exactly the same method on all the hang calls which I've managed to obtain. This is the only one that's any good. So, make of that what you will. But that's as good as a Puma, and that's saying something. So six eighth Puma, or a good six eighth Henkels, that'll do the trick. Anyway, that's it, I'm not gonna do any more, I don't need to do any more, it's done. So, let's wash this off, we'll give it a couple of tests. I'll keep this a nice brief video. I'm sorry, I've obviously bored a lot of you recently. I don't get out much. <laughs> well, these days I'm gonna wander back to Hisham, my barber shop friend, and I'll do a shave with his permission in his barber shop. And we can watch the local grockles as they struggle past outside. Anyway, that feels absolutely bloody lovely. Um, I might as well put the Allen block on because it is a sort of tradition amongst straight razor shavers. Let's put that on. No, no, <laughs> hardly a thing. The proof is in the pudding, or rather in this case in the, in the shave. No sting at all. That's what you get with a good shave. You don't get any sting. When you're using an inferior edge, you will always get a sting. However, that just proves the point. Key to a proven formula. My formula being, check your edge, any little nicks, any little smiles, any little frowns, take them out on a diamond plate. After a diamond plate, you go zero or one K, whichever happens to be handy, three K. 5k, 8k, 10k, 12k, 20k. As long as you keep your sequence within about half an hour, I don't take any longer to hone because I get bored. And uh, you end up with a repeatable sequence. And that way you're testing the steel and not your edge. Your edge is the same. It's the steel you're testing and it's temper. And I've just proven out of five razors, only one's any good. So, they all had the same sequence. They all had the same bevel set. They were all checked. 
And only one turned out any bloody good. So, there you go, chap. One perfect shave. Thank you so much. This is a bloody wonderful soap. Far better than a commercial soap. This is the genius of Eric, the Cajun Blade. He made wonderful custom soaps. This one is softer than the others. I will go back to the others. This one's the best so far. And this one is the Deer Tallow, with the sandalwood base with the softer shea and cocoa butter. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Thank you so much, Eric. I'll see you all guys soon. Do try and subscribe and watch this nonsense. Tell your friends. Happy shaving. Happy Sunday. Bye for now.